fit to take that shit and put it in this other uh, van that we had. And so me and Paper Chase talking, and next thing you know, Paper Chase said, man, they said Pimp C dead. I said, man, that shit, man. Dude, I did the same thing. Same, yeah. Bullshit. Because, you know, I did talk to Pimp. Maybe, That's what I was going to ask you. What yeah, was I the talk, time I talked before to him, that? I talked to him two days before he died. Me too. He said, man. Two days he before? Said, uh, Saturday night. So yeah. so he was he was doing a show with Too Short that Saturday day. night. Yeah, he was yeah. doing a show with Too Short. He said, "Man, I'm I'm having fun. I'm in L.A." He said, "I'm finna, you know, me and Too Short. I'm finna go fuck with Too Short. Too Short got a show." Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. You know, he like, man, don't cut me out, man. Don't cut yeah, me out, man. I, yeah. I want my million, right? I said, man, you know I ain't going to do you like that, P. Yeah. I fucks with you because we did the best of both worlds together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me? So while he in jail, you know, we get that call. Yeah. Pim dead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was about to ask you about that. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm tripping, right? Because I'm, 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 I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, I had I, I was trying to hide my cars, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I had a lot of, you know, high-end cars. So with this broad in College Park, I was fucking with, she had a garage, so she, I could put two cars there. You know what I'm saying? I had like about six cars. So I had the Escalade and the, uh, the, com- the, the, the compressor. I had the Benz here there. So I'm over her house, and, you know, we, we putting the cars there, you know, so we thinking about this shit, you know, and then I got some DVDs, too, yeah. over by our house. So we, we had, like, about 5,000 DVDs over there, so we fit to take that shit and put it in this other uh, van that we had. And so me and Paper Chase talking, and next thing, you know, Paper Chase said, man, they said Pimp C dead. I said, man, that shit, man. Dude, I so, did the same thing. Same, yeah. Bullshit, because, you know, I d- talked to Pimp, Maybe. That's what I was going to ask you. What yeah, was I the talk, time I talked before to him, that? I talked to him two days before he died. Me too. He said, man. Two days I, he before? Said, uh, Saturday night. Yeah. So so he was he was doing a show with Too Short that Saturday day. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, he was doing a show with Too Short. He said, man, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm in L.A. He said, I'm finna, you know, me and Too Short, I'm finna go fuck with Too Short. Too Short got a show. He said, Ken, I'm sorry for being tardy. That was weird. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. was weird. Yeah. I mean, like, you know. This nigga, we ain't talking like in about two weeks. This nigga just called me right before he died and said some shit like that, right? And you know, it was just it was just strange. And then once you know we you know we was hearing about it. You know, Rick found him right yeah. in the room. With, yeah. Rick, Rick, cause Rick got all his computers and shit. Gave yeah. it to Shinara. You know, so 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 Rick calling me like, hey, yeah, man, it's true, man. Mm. It's true, it's true. So you know, what I mean, I'm sitting there. You know, you got to remember, we got we in every magazine together. We on we doing all these songs together, and and you know a lot of people. I know he probably know about it. You know UGK, the nigga uh uh what's the nigga name? The nigga Seven, the 17. nigga Bank, the nigga Seventeen, the nigga mm-hmm. Bankroll, yeah. uh the nigga Ivy P. These were these were niggas that was on the street having money. Yeah. So how Pimp was gonna f- form the, the the record label was he was gonna just take niggas with money. He said, y'all niggas buy your own jewelry, y'all buy your own thing, and I'm gonna let y'all use the UGK brand. That's Didn't how I tell you that. You, he teach over the exact same yeah. thing. Didn't I tell you that? He was yeah. setting everybody up. And it was up. In other the, words, in other words, the other rappers who didn't have no money, mm-hmm. I didn't want them to feel some type of way that those guys hopscotch stay ass to the in front to the front of the line. It, because, because Pimp had a vision that Pimp and Bun are the type of nigga that you better be helping yourself. Yeah, that's what he I'm was not on. gonna Don't wait on me, goddammit. If you waiting on me, you, uh, your ass gonna be waiting. You if you helping yourself, you got your own bread. Yeah, we can put something with something and make something happen. Which that, makes that, sense. That, that was the move. And all them niggas became hot. Yeah, yeah. No, they because became hot that. for fucking with Pimp C, and they was wearing the uh, UGK chains. UGK. Yeah, you know, all that shit. You know, these was niggas that I knew personally. That I just, you know, I, I introduced Bankroll to uh, Pimp. I introduced Ivy P to Pimp. Yeah. I think Seventeen was fucking with him already. So we was all I was. All, he said, "Ken, go find the niggas with the money." Bring them, and that's how we gonna form UGK Records. That's that's what UGK Records would have been had Pimp not a doubt. There's been a bunch of niggas as he was selling dope, hustling, or whatever the fuck they was Real doing. Street dudes. You know what I'm saying? Me, street street dudes. niggas. And you know what I'm saying? That's how Pimp wanted to form it. He didn't want to just that make sense because he's an underground king. Yeah, he didn't want to make sense. He didn't want to go pick artists. Only one artist that he ever wanted to fuck with that wasn't in that. That was one of my artists. And then this brother, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he didn't understand the business. So, you know what I mean? He didn't sign. But, you know, Pimp only wanted to sign it because he seen me put money and traction behind the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, and, uh, you know, but other <laughs> than that. funny, bro. Other than that. Say, he didn't like, Chad didn't like rappers and he didn't like athletes. And he, hey, tell him, he didn't bro. like a lot of the big rappers neither, man. Bro, he didn't oh, like them. Hey, bro, bro, bro. Some of these songs you hear him say stuff on, I know the story behind what he's saying and who he's talking to. What story is that? I can't just do that, bro. You see how I put him out there? All I can tell you, and may rest in peace, Maroy. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Moroy. Moroy did the uh, cross country pivot. He had footage of Pimp talking bad about some of a lot of your favorite rappers. Pimp didn't like a lot of niggas that Bro. today y'all call moguls. He what happened to that footage? He didn't put it out. I I I I, I was there, and I remember you know Pimp saying. Eh, you know what I'm saying? But you know, before he said, eh, he like, yeah, that nigga this man, that nigga that man, that nigga's a sucker, man. You like, man, I don't fuck with them niggas trying to steal UGK songs. That's all Pimp used to say. These niggas trying to steal the UGK brand, man. You know, because yep. because you know, Pimp felt that he had a a, a, a monopoly on the pimping. The trio rap, too, like the, like the word trio. They do, but a lot of niggas, you know, what I'm saying, me like from New York and you know a lot of part of, of the country, you know, what I'm saying, me, they want to do pimp songs. So Pimp was like, these niggas weren't thinking about no Pimp songs until, you know, he started, and then they would come and get Pimp. Now, they would pay him and shit. Like, in one instance, man, they, they with Pimp made him go get a Benz or something. Yeah. But they were saying at the funeral, you remember uh, the people from Jive Records, they said that they was telling, we was at the funeral, so this is this what Jive Records said. I didn't oh, say just that. Oh, Yeah, so so they was like, they said, yeah, man, so we telling Pimp to go through this, this gonna be the biggest thing in his career. Pimp said, yeah, man, I ain't For doing shit, man. Y'all. He said, but y'all ain't gonna help me down there with all the rich stickers, man. And I'm looking like a son. He said, I need a motherfucking brand new Benz. They <laughs> bought him a Benz. That's so, the Benz so, you see on the big Pimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he made, yeah, so that was Jay-Z that shit. So he made them, he, he, he took them people through hell because, you know. Hey, they said this at the funeral. This yeah. ain't some shit I'm saying. Yeah. He said, bro, that dude was a in true order to make that, that big pimping, is this the time when all that was going on? That was Pimp Benz. Ben, to be in the video, Pimp made them motherfuckers buy him a Benz. And he to, drove that motherfucker from Atlanta? <laughs> Where is it? Miami or my, Florida yeah, or somewhere yeah. in Florida. But, he and, right. he, and he wasn't on the boat. He, I, I heard the story. Yeah. He wasn't even on yeah. that. But yeah. he, he he brought that Benz and drove it all bro, the way he down. Didn't fuck with Jay Z like that, bro. He didn't mess with Jay Z like that. Well, he, I mean, Jay Z. He had, didn't mess with many people up up up. up. Well, but see, he, his thing was from me, personal talking to him. He was saying that they were trying to steal his, his style. So oh, Pimp, the Pimp, style. So you know, you, 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 okay. Now imagine Pimp being paranoid. He get high. Everybody know he get high. Yep. And he paranoid. So everybody. Was you know, I mean, one time I was talking to Jeezy, I was talking to Slick Puller, and and, and, and the nigga was he had his ear by the dope. You know what I'm saying? He tried to see, he, and nigga was trying to see was I'm going go on them niggas side. Yeah, right. So I'm yeah. telling, I'm telling Slick Puller, man, like man, ain't no tell Jeezy ain't no beef, man. We all family. You know what I'm saying? It's good. And Slick Puller said, No, nah, man, Jeezy ain't got no problem with uh with, with, with Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? But Pimp C listening to me like he's like, yeah, kid, like kid, you better not, you better not cross me, right? Like, but you know, I mean, the, the, the nigga was crazy, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one.